Warren Edward Buffett, born on 30th of August 1930, is an American business magnate, investor and philanthropist. He is the chairman and CEO of Berkshire Hathaway. He is considered to be one of the most successful investors in the world and has net worth of 88.9 billion US dollars, making him the fourth wealthiest person in the world. He is often referred as the oracle of Omaha by global media outlets and is noted for his adherence to value investing and for personal frugality despite his immense wealth. Buffett is a notable philanthropist having pledged away 99% of his fortune to philanthropic causes primarily via the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation. Welcome to Books for Hustlers. In today's video, we will see 10 books recommended by Warren Buffett. God every motherfucking If this is your first time here, Books for Hustlers shares book recommendation of some of the most successful entrepreneurs that ever walked our planet. If that sounds interesting to you, then consider subscribing. Here's the list of ten books recommended by Warren Buffett. Book number ten, Shoe Dog by Phil Knight. Shoe Dog is an inspirational story of overcoming challenges to grow a company as fast as possible. You'll learn real-world business lessons that only Nike's founder can teach you. Phil Knight is brutally honest about the extreme difficulties Nike had to overcome to be where it is today. Book number nine, Limping on Water by Phil Buth and Casey Schulberg, a Dickensian rags to riches tale of disadvantaged boy born with cerebral palsy, who through luck, pluck, strength of character, skill, persistence, and loyalty, rose to become a top executive. at one of america's most respected and successful media outlets capital cities communication book number 8 where are the customers yacht or a good hard look at wall street by fred schwed this book exposes the folly and hypocrisy of wall street the title refers to a story about a visitor to new york who admired the yachts of the bankers and brokers and naively asked where are all the customers yachts Of course none of the customers could afford yachts even though they dutifully followed the advice of their bankers and brokers full of wise contrarian advice and offering a true look at the world of investing in which brokers get rich while the customers go broke Book number 7 The Little Book of Common Sense Investing The Only Way to Guarantee Your Fair Share of Stock Market Returns by John C Bogle filled with in-depth insights and practical advice the little book of common sense investing will show you how to incorporate this proven investment strategy into your portfolio with this book as your guide you'll discover how to make investing a winner's game investing between the lines how to make smarter decisions by decoding ceo communications by lg rittenhouse investing between the line introduces a revolutionary method for evaluating the financial integrity of a company investing between the lines shows you how to decipher the fog of confusing company communications decode the real meaning behind corporate jargons and platitudes separate the facts from the fluff in annual reports and quarterly earnings and safeguard your money by investing in companies that steward investor capital book number 5 The Clash of the Cultures: Investment vs. Speculation by John C. Bogle. Over the course of his 60-year career in the mutual fund industry, Vanguard Group founder John C. Bogle has witnessed a massive shift in the culture of financial sector. The prudent, value-adding culture of long-term investment has been crowded out by an aggressive, value-destroying culture of short-term speculation. In The Clash of the Cultures, he urges a return to the common sense principles of long term investing book number 4 the outsiders eight unconventional ceos and their radically rational blueprint for success by william n thorndike in this refreshing counterintuitive book author william thorndike brings to bear the analytical wisdom of a successful career in investing closely evaluating the performance of companies and their leaders you will meet eight individualistic ceos whose firm's average return outperformed the s&p 500 by a factor of 20 in other words 
an investment of 10000 us dollars with each of these ceos on an average would have been worth over 1.5 million us dollars 25 years later book number 3 metech a global success story by jim healy metech a global success story is the story of how a small midwestern firm on the verge of financial collapse was able to reinvent itself in less than a decade and become the dominant supplier in the industry before we see the top 2 books i would like to remind you that now you can listen to any of your favorite books on audible.com to hustlers like you audible is giving 30 days free trial where you can enjoy any one audiobook for free to sign up for the 30 day free trial use the first link in the description book number 2 the intelligent investor by benjamin graham warren buffett has often said the intelligent investor is the best book ever written on investing benjamin graham's objective was to provide an investment policy book for the ordinary investor the goal is to learn how to avoid the pitfalls of allowing our emotions to control our investment decisions rather graham provides the foundation of making business like decisions Book number 1 Poor Charlie's Almanac The Wit and Wisdom of Charlie Munger Charlie Munger is Warren Buffett's long-time business partner at Berkshire Hathaway Poor Charlie's Almanac is a collection of Charlie Munger's best advice given over 30 years in the form of 11 speeches given as commencement addresses and round table talks If you're a hustler like Warren Buffett who wants to make his mark in this ever-changing competitive world then consider subscribing our channel You'll get free book recommendations from some of the most successful entrepreneurs all over the world. Remember, readers are leaders. Thank you for watching.